Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Grey here, Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. Here today with a quick video on Phaedra Parks and Kenya Moore. Phaedra Parks used to be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, she left us after season nine and that whole debacle. Kenya Moore is still on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I have seen via interviews and via um, articles that I've read, it seems like both Phaedra Parks to me and Kenya Moore have done a lot of maturing since they first started on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So recently, Phaedra Parks would act, was asked, would she ever come back to Roa? And pretty much she said, no, not right now. Not while she is raising her children, her boys, because it is a bit much. And I'm paraphrasing, guys. You know, she said it's toxic. And they are pretty much at the age now where whatever she would or would not do on that show would impact them. And it may impact them in a harmful way. So she's saying for right now, the answer is no. But I guess she said in this article that I read, she is going to be on the ultimate girls trip. So we will see her on that. But as of this moment, we will not see her on Roa. So what are my thoughts on that? I think she's making a smart decision because she is raising two young boys and people could be so mean and dreadful and a lot can happen on Roa. So I commend her for that, for not going back for that particular reason. As a fan of the show, I think it would be great to see her and um, Candy on the show and perhaps her and Candy make up. But I do know and I do feel this from everything Candy displayed um Candy seems to have trouble um letting go of a grudge and just being forgiving and I feel like she feels that what Phaedra did was the ultimate was the biggest lie ever and it's not to be forgiven but when you hold on to grudges you really hurt yourself more than you hurt the other person I'm not um, downplaying what Phaedra did, but I am saying what Phaedra did was years ago, seasons ago, um, everybody grows, people change, and it would make for, not just for great TV, but it would be, it would be really nice to see those two just squash the beef and kind of make up. Time will tell, but for right now, Phaedra says no. Um, she has gotten plenty of calls from Roa to perhaps come back and she's saying right now the answer is no you know this is according to Phaedra who knows if maybe one day they call her and they offer her the right amount of dollars a no may turn into a yes now let's move on to Kenya Moore Kenya Moore did an interview and just recently you know I've really been feeling you know so much differently about Kenya and I think what happens when these ladies do these reality shows reality shows have a formula okay and the formula is you gotta create drama cause drama and bring in the ratings and if that means that you got to tell some mistruths about one of your fellow castmates then it is what it is and you do what you do you embellish stories you make up stories and um sometimes you just i guess down outright tell lies don't like it but when you sign the dotted line indirectly that is what you're signing up for and the horrific thing is and this is what happened to Phaedra is the line is so thin between you know what is enough and then what becomes too much and I think what happened to Phaedra is when she did that to Candy it became too much and that's why they fired her um, for others, they do outrageous things and it is enough because it brings in the ratings. And listen, these shows are in the business to make money and ratings is the name of the game. And so therefore they can care how far you go 
They could care less on how far you go as long as it brings in those ratings and it doesn't bring in too much controversy on the negative side. So Kenya has played the reality game and she has played it well. But recently, and I think ever since she has Brooklyn and you know, she's been going through this horrific divorce, it has, it, it got me seeing a different side of her. Um, very mature, very just different, very sweet, very nice. And you know, time will tell when we see the next um, season of Roa, is this going to be consistent behavior? But right now, I'm feeling it. So she did an interview with Bravo, and they pretty much asked her, you know, um, I think Bravo and Page Six, they pretty much asked her, you know, how do you feel about Sheree coming back? And you know, her and Sheree at one moment, they were like rivals going back and forth. And she said, well, listen, I Sheree lives like darn near less than five minutes away from me. And she said, you know, we're, she's fine. We're friends. And she said, I hope, you know, we finally get to see, and she didn't say it in a shady way. She said, I hope we finally get to see um, She by Shireen Joggers. Um, thought that was so sweet. In terms, of course, because, you know, the hot topic is Nene. So everyone's asking her about Nene. So they asked her about Nene. And she said, look, Nene coming back is above my pay grade. Um, she said, but the fans love her. Um, they want to see her back. And, you know, I wish her well. And, you know, I do wish she could come back also. So I, I thought that was, you know, nice and sweet because Kenya and Nini definitely had like a volatile tension um, based relationship. OK, where they ju just did not get along for 90% of the time that Nini was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Kenya was on at the same time. So for Kenya to just say something so kind, so sweet in terms of like, look, the fans want him back. Um, you know, if she could come back, bring her back. She has some unfinished business. She, you know, needs to resolve. But unfortunately, and I think we all know this, Nini's own bad behavior, her own words, um, came back to haunt her and bite her. And I highly doubt, I will be shocked, I will fall off my seat if I sit at my TV and turn on Roa and ever see Nini back on the air, especially as a peach holder or a friend of the show, like ever again. I think she just shot herself in the foot. Um, she damaged her own career. I do wish her some sort of comeback, but I doubt if her comeback is going to be on Roa. But the point of this is to say, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. I, I, I mean, I'm loving this, what I seem to um, think as this new Kenya because Nini, you know, tortured Kenya as much as Kenya tortured her. But for her to say something so sweet, so kind, I, I just think was amazing. What else did I want to say about that particular um, interview? Oh, and um, um, sh um, 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 Kenya said that she loves the fact that Marlo finally got her peach, which I think is amazing. You know, she said she worked for it. She deserves it. And, you know, it's just amazing that she finally got her peach. And I think all of us are ecstatic that, you know, Marlo has finally gotten her peach. So there's going to be some new ladies added to, um, this upcoming season of Roa. So we get to see, you know, how all of these, um, new housewives with the veteran housewives, you know, get to interact. Oh, and they also talked about in that interview, the ultimate go girls trip that Kenya is doing, you know, with Cynthia. And she also said that, you know, she wished Cynthia well, and she respects the fact that Cynthia left the show to kind of focus on her marriage a little bit more and some other initiatives and things that she is doing. So I just think overall that Kenya has shown extreme growth um, within these last two years, and I'm here for it. And I also feel based on the interview that Phaedra did, she has shown some extreme growth 
<clears throat> and I'm definitely here for it. And for Phaedra, I really do wish her and Candy can have a sit down. Oh, they did ask if she, you know, has run into Candy. And I think Phaedra said pretty much once, but she didn't really get into what that run in our interaction was like did they even say hello to each other it's sad if they didn't their the breakdown of their friendship is just sad and i just think that you know i'm not sure if they met on reality tv or if they knew each other before but i used to feel when i was watching the show that their friendship was so nice and cute and genuine um but, you know, I guess like they said, sometimes, you know, people are in your life for a reason, a season or a lifetime, and maybe their friendship was just a season. So time will tell, right? Hopefully, you know, one day they can realize that with all that's going on in the world that they don't have to be besties, but they can at least forgive each other. And as far as Kenya Moore is concerned, Loving the new Kenya. Can't wait to see her in a new season of Roa. And her daughter is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm glad we're getting to see more of Baby Brooklyn on the show too. Um, that Ultimate Girls Trip, because it's on Peacock and you have to pay for it, I'm not paying for another app. So unless you know there's a YouTuber out there that is streaming it, you know on their channel um if y'all know of one put it in the comments i'll go watch it on their channel subscribe to their channel like the video and comment i'll help them out but i refuse to pay another uh subscription fee to one of these streaming services i think it's absolutely ridiculous you can end up with almost a thousand dollars in 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 these channel fees and your cable bill and everything else in your life no so i saw the first episode of the ultimate girls trip thought it was pretty cute and pretty good ramona is out of her mind but i don't know when or if i will see the rest of the episodes because of the simple fact of i'm not paying for peacock well anyway guys chat with me in the comments don't forget to hit the like button and when i get an opportunity i will chat back and i'll see you in the next video